Hi everyone. What I'm doing in this video is sharing with you 24 hours in my life. I'm going to make clips as I go through today and this evening as well as overnight because of the broken sleep that I experience and share with you what a day in my life is like. It's breakfast right now at 8.57 a.m. So I'm getting this ready. What I'm having this morning is a mixture of about a quarter of a cup of pancake batter, a quarter of a cup of water, a quarter of a cup of oatmeal, between eight to 10 chocolate chips, two tablespoons of raspberry jam, an egg, and an apple cut up. And then I'll bake this in the oven for about 40 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I've had a really, really bad night. I was up five times during the night because of pain and stiffness in either my hips or my knees. Today is going to be a quiet day overall. So when I have a really bad day, the different flavors make up for some of the pain that I'm experiencing. And believe me, it's not going particularly well in terms of my disability today. The other thing that I've got going on is my sump pump needs replacing. And my friend Mike is going to take me out at some point to go pick up the next component. I did a lot of renovations before I was in the wheelchair. So the technical part of installing the replacement sump pump is really straightforward and easy for me. I need help doing this and picking up the components that I don't mail order. So I've already paid for it online and it's just a matter of going to a big box store and grabbing the next component. So this morning I'll connect with my friend Mike and find out when he's available to take me out. What I want to do today is a bit of cleaning. Um, I'm wanting to sort how my tools are stored. I've got this label maker right here. I'm wanting to make labels on a few sets of shelves for where home will be for all my tools. I really enjoy using my hands so I've built up a set of tools over the past few years. And it would help me if they have a designated home. I've got help coming on Friday with more of my cleaning. So the next spot or the next step in this process anyways is getting the tools set up so they have a home base. Um, so this morning after I eat breakfast, I'm going to have to lay down again. I'm absolutely exhausted right now. And we'll see how the day goes from there. I'm hopeful of using the pool sometime tonight just to float and get the stress off my joints. It will certainly help me. And Mike are the three things I'm hoping to accomplish today and I don't even know if I'll get the tools done today. I need to get more sleep before I can concentrate to do that. Thanks for the time that you'll spend with me in this video. I hope it will inspire you and continue the discussion about what it's like living with chronic pain and a physical disability. It's 9.59 a.m. now. My breakfast has just finished cooking and I'm about to eat. You can probably see from around my eyes, I'm really tired right now and I'm going to have to lay down after I finish eating. 
What I've been doing during the past 45 minutes has been talking to a few friends about micro SD cards. These are the type of cards that act as storage in cell phone, PDAs, and many of the single board computers that are on the market. I'm actually looking to get a quality card for the video camera I'm using right now. And I'm getting ready to replace the server that will go along with these videos for a website that I'm developing as long as well as my hobby website, the verse of the day. So that's where I'm at right now. I feel way too jet lagged to be doing anything productive. As in, I'm really, really tired and it's hard to concentrate on much when I was up so much in the night. I first need sleep before the day begins for me. So, you know, it's going to be 2 or 3 p.m. before I achieve anything productive today. As I've said in different videos, I have a few precious good hours each day. And the best in the situation is making the most of those few hours and setting realistic goals. You know, and I've, I often work off lists. And this is what I'm trying to work through right now. And I find it helpful for me so that if I'm feeling weak, like today, I can at least get something that I want done to help my life continue moving forward. It's 10.35 a.m. now. The next activity for today is brushing my teeth. This is really important. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know about this. My teeth have weakened enamel, likely caused by my childhood treatment, especially the medication that was used for me at the time of my leg purse disease surgeries. You know, my wisdom teeth grew in rotting in my teen years and the enamel's weak. I've got a cavity forming right here. So I use an electric toothbrush for this. So that's why I'm up to next. And I'm just looking at the weather to confirm about going to the pool tonight. We're having a lot of rain right now. I need the exercise and being in the water helps my joints calm down. And certainly you can see by the look on my face, especially around my eyes, I really do need the water to help ease the, the stress that they're under. So that's why I'm up to next. And then I'm going to have some quiet time and, and lay down so I can get rest of last night's sleep done. It's 11.07 a.m. now. I thought the activity I do before heading to bed is one that needs to happen for the cleaning in my home. I'm presently going through everything that I own. So one of the things that I've come across is uh, this blanket here with the giraffe. And this blanket here with the pair of bunnies. My grandmother made these for me when I was a young child. I was given a lot of stuffed animals while I was going through my childhood treatment for leg purse disease and I wanted to be able to tuck the animals into bed. So these blankets are were given to me by my grandmother so the animals would have their own bedding like me. 
I'm passing them on to my brother's children. I thought that they're young and they'll appreciate them and can play with them. My grandmother died at the age of 101. So this will be the only present that they have from Grandma Pickett uh, from the family that I know of. So this is what I'm doing during the quiet time as I sort of drowse, get drowsy and am ready to fall asleep. I usually find some type of an activity that's quiet to do and do it and then lay down afterwards. At least this way I've done something with today, especially a day like today where most of it's going to be a write-off because of pain and the broken sleep I had last night. It's 11.53 a.m. So what I've decided to do is have my lunch and then after I'm done eating is when I'll head to bed. I keep meals cooked ahead of time and in my freezer, especially for days like today where I've had a lot of broken sleep and I'm just feeling drained. So I'm going to pull something over the freezer, put it in the oven to warm, and as I do that, I'm going to make the next video for my YouTube channel. So it'll be one more thing that I've been able to do today that was on my list for the next day or two. At least I'm making the best of the circumstances that I live in. It's 2.35 p.m. I'm finally laying down for a rest. The reason I've taken so long to lay down is one of the things I find very hard about living with chronic pain and the physical disability. I absolutely hate wasting a day. It isn't that I classify rest as a waste. I try really hard to at least take one step forward in my life and towards my long-term goal of getting off of disability social assistance. It's obvious to me that the benefit rate that I'm receiving isn't keeping up with the cost of living and I need to have a part-time income if I'm going to keep my bills paid. So I try to do a little bit each day towards this. You know, I've talked before in other videos about my aspirations. It would be a huge accomplishment to be able to get self-employed using the internet. You know, I figure this is the best opportunity that I have. You know, the internet's consistent. So I was up in the night last night about five times and it just drains me during the daytime. The internet would still be there for the videos and my website that I'm developing to go alongside of this will still be there and be consistent for the people coming to use it. So I try hard each day to take a step or two towards this happening. And my hope is that enough of the right things will have taken place when I completely can't manage keeping my bills paid through the benefit rate that I receive. It's well documented that this is below the line of poverty for a single adult. Anyway, I'm trying my best with what I've got. So I'm going to spend about the next three hours resting and I've got my dinner in the oven. My oven is programmable. So dinner will be ready at 5.15 p.m. 
It's another meal that I've pulled out of the freezer, so it just needs to on-thaw and warm up. It's already cooked. And it'll be ready for me when I wake up. And then I'll be able to go off to the pool. And I am genuinely looking forward to this. My hips are still hurting, and so are my knees. Um, so the pool gives me a chance to float, get the stress off my joints. It helps bring down the inflammation, and then I'm able to do a little bit of exercise to maintain the best health possible in my legs and overall for my body. I'll talk to you some more later today. Have a good night. It's 4.06 p.m. I woke up a few minutes ago because of pain in my right hip joint. I took a mild dose of pain medicine and what I sleep in is a hospital bed. And so I've used the controller to raise up the back just a little bit. So my hip isn't in as much discomfort right now. I can hear that the oven has turned on. So I know when I get up, my dinner will be warmed up for me. So that'll be wonderful. So I'm going to rest for a while longer. And then get up in about an hour. It's 4.47 p.m. now. If you think back to this morning, I was planning to have my friend Mike take me up to the big box store to pick up uh, parts for my sump pump. It's raining outside. I heard it just as I was about to fall asleep again a few minutes ago. I've got up and that basically scuttles the plans for this evening. Tomorrow's forecast is one of the few days this week where there is no rain. So that's what I've proposed to my friend Mike. I also need to get up to check when to go to the pool. It's extraordinarily bad for my power wheelchair to be out in the rain. There's always electricity where it connects to the battery charger. From there, there's also a computer in the belly of the wheelchair and the joystick is also has a little bit of susceptibility to rain. In short, I could do about $4,000 worth of damage really quickly if rain got into it. So I needed to check on my plans to go to the pool tonight. Where this leaves me is a window of about three hours that I can be gone, but I'll have to check again for a radar update on the internet to make sure I know what time I'll have to leave to come back home. So my supper will be ready in 30 minutes, so I'm going to stay up now. I find that sleeping for less than 30 minutes leaves me feeling really groggy. I'd rather become more alert now and be ready to go to the pool when the time comes. It's 5.52 p.m. now. A lot's happened in the past 20 minutes. I've had my supper and that's really important. I try to stay on a reasonable dinner schedule even when the pain is bad. On specific days so the cooking ahead and freezing strategy helps me a whole lot 
The weather forecast has changed about four times during the past hour. Where it stands at right now is rain starting at 7.20 p.m. It's not going to work for my friend Mike cutting my grass. What this does do though is allows me the opportunity to get up to the big box store and, and pick up the part for my sump pump. So I'm heading out shortly. When I get back here, I'll be going to the pool and won't get back till closing. It's really bad for the wheelchair to drive in it, to drive in the rain. So I'm gonna have to wait till closing because there's another another stint of rain coming still this evening and then a second one. That's okay though. Uh, my legs do need the use of the hip adduction and hip abduction machines. And thankfully I've got to know many, many of the members and I can have some casual conversation with people in between their exercise stints or their sets. I'll talk some more before heading to bed for the night. It's 10.37 p.m. I'm now home from the gym. As well, I was up to the big box store and got the components for my sump pump replacement. So that process will continue to play out during July. The time at the gym, as well as the time with my friend Mike, was really rewarding. I was able to share with him some of my aspirations, as well as with people I know at the gym who've got to know me. You know, I have, my goal is to see these YouTube videos turn into my career, as well as with a few other components that I hope to build into this over the next few years. You know, I have the will and the desire the physical challenges that I have can be overcome. It's going to take some money to do it, but one day at a time, and I have the drive to keep pressing forward. I find these conversations encouraging. I enjoy spending time with people, even though I experience the pain. The time in the pool was really nice on my joints as well. And I did what I can for exercises, but I've seen over the past year, as my knees have worsened, that I'm becoming very limited in what I can do for exercise. However, each day when I get up, I do commit to making the best of that day that's possible for me. So, my kind of evening routine is to think through what I will do during the next day, and then I make a list of it. So my plans for tomorrow include grocery shopping, producing this video. I also need to get a few items for myself and the house. My dishwasher needs the drying fluid added to it. My slippers have worn out. And I would like to do a little bit of cleaning. We'll see how tomorrow goes. What doesn't get done, you know, will move to Thursday's plan for me. But all in all, it's been a good evening. I was able to share with a few of the members at the gym the change I made to my wheelchair so it now has an odometer. I also talked to one of the youth for a few minutes and 
I enjoy investing my life in them and encouraging him to do his best during the exams. Not in terms of marks, but his personal best for each course. Anyway, that's it for now. So before I go to bed, I'm going to line the video camera up so it's facing my pillow. And if I'm up in the night, or not if, when I'm up in the night, I'll share what's going on until we reach the 24-hour mark tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for more. So it's 3.09 a.m. now, and I've not had more than 10 minutes of broken sleep since I made the last clip for this video. The challenge of this now is that I just repositioned in bed and my right knee joint has popped. So what this means is that my right knee is now going to be painful for probably at least eight hours. And when I say probably, it could easily get up to 12 hours from the popping. The eight hours is sort of the minimum that happens. So when you think about this logically, I still need eight hours of rest. So it's now going to be at least 11, 10 a.m. before I'll finish last night's sleep. And the chances of that happening in one straight stint is highly unlikely. So quickly, Wednesday's becoming a write-off because of the broken sleep and how painful my joints are. There were two exercises that I did after I was done in the pool. One of the exercises was the seated calf press. I've started having the impression that this was a problem for me. What I mean by that is I've been getting the impression that it's been doing more harm than good. So I'm going to have to give up doing that exercise. I can't be having nights like this. The sleep is far more important and not stirring up the pain in my right knee joint. The pain medication I took during the last clip has started to work. It's not been enough. So it's just a matter of trying to rest and hopefully I fall asleep. If I'm still up in another hour, I'll need to get out the ice and go from there. So this becomes an hour by hour chore at this point. Anyway, I'm going to try to rest some more. It's 5.53 a.m. Most of the past two hours was spent trying to get comfortable, find a place to position my legs so my hips didn't hurt. I'm at about five hours of sleep now. I badly need the other three hours just to function on. So I'm going to um, use the washroom and then lay down for a while longer. I don't know what I'll do for the rest of today. Right now, taking enough sleep is more important than figuring out the rest of today. Talk to you soon. I've just woke up. I rolled over in the night a few times, but quickly fell back asleep, thankfully. It's actually now 11.54 a.m. What I was saying about, you know, still needing a block of eight hours of sleep has happened. You know, it's the afternoon, 
and my day hasn't begun yet. I'm going to get up for breakfast and then decide what I'm going to do from there. I feel like I need another hour or hour and a half of rest. I'll probably do this um, after eating breakfast, but I'll have to see. Sometimes I get less groggy as I eat and after I've started to move around a little bit. So I don't know exactly. I can tell I need a bit more rest, but whether it happens immediately or in a few hours is yet to be determined. I'm not wanting to leave this video on a cliffhanger and want to close with these additional comments. The people who know me locally will recognize this white binder. I bring it with me to the gym each weeknight. It's my ideas binder and how I organize my life. This very first section with the title right here is taking care of myself. And this very first page here is my to-do list. What I end up doing is making a list of my chores in order of priority and what I don't get done on one day then goes to the next day. This commonly happens because of unexpected pain and the effects of broken sleep. It's sometimes why I refer to my life as being one ongoing marathon. It's hard to plan what I'm going to be doing when I'm going to be doing it when the pain and broken sleep has been especially bad. So some of the things that I talked about in this video that didn't happen during the 24 hours will now work towards during today. The other thing that I want to share before I close is there are some youth who know me locally and will have seen this and seen how weak I get at points during the day. If you do want to talk to me or with your parents want to talk to me, just let me know. I didn't make this video to scare or make you worried about me. I did this to share what my life is like. I often make these videos when I'm at my best. Unfortunately, when I'm at my worst is much, much worse than right now. And it kind of goes through a cycle each day with highs and lows of my energy because of the pain that I experience. So I just want you to know that I am open to dialogue if this has concerned you. Thank you again for the time that you spent with me during this journey. I do enjoy making these videos and I especially enjoy investing in the lives of those who need this, can glean from what I've learned, or in general, can be motivated to make the best of their life and circumstances. Bye for now.